Hey guys, so to Beware Awakening to get Primeval Blaze featuring the new ancient Pokemon Great Tusk EX from Pauline Fates with a great bash attack doing 260 damage for 1 fighting and 3 colorless, ignoring any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. It also has the Quaking Demolition ability, discarding the top 5 cards of your deck once at the end of your turn after your attack. So we are planning on attacking with this Pokemon with our Armor Rouge and Professor Sada's Vitality attaching energies onto our Great Tusk EX on the bench as well, moving into the active spot with our Fire Off ability on the next turn after evolving this card from our hand. We also have our Cleaver V-Star to do a massive one-hit knockout late game after discarding enough Pokemon from the top of our deck with our ability and Pokestop with Tracking Shoes. So by benching a second Charcadet at some point in the game, we get to evolve it after into our EX and then move energies from our ancient Pokemon onto our active EX with our Baby Armor Rouge's ability after playing Professor Sada's Vitality. Finally, we also have one Rod to shut back our Pokemon energies, one Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, two Poke Gear, two Earthen Vessel with seven Basic Fire, one Luminous, and two Basic Fighting Energy. So that's all for the deck list. Now let's go for some gameplay and see how well this deck works. Okay, let's go for our first game with the Demolition. We're up against Miraidon with Iron Hands. Um, they have Zebdo, so Iron Hands can actually do a one-hit knockout against our baby Armorouge for the extra price. We gotta be careful if they get the boss. Problem with Miraidon though is that they may get stuck with a draw engine. They got nothing but Raikou for the draw support. Let's hope. They may have Mew EX and Squawkabilly as well, but it's mostly supporter cards, right? They're mostly relying on supporter cards to help them get by, and the generator, obviously. <clears throat> so we got our Nest Ball for Greninja, should we get... Oh, we actually ended the Ancient Pokemon, so we got the Slither Wing. We got Slither Wing instead of Great Tusk, which is fine. Just need another Ancient. I don't think we should be playing a second Great Toss though, right? Um, but apparently we should have just gotten the Greninja. I think this was the wrong move right here. Because we got a lot more ancient Pokemons in the deck. If we draw 6 cards, we would probably get either Great Tusk or the Slither Wing anyways. So we should have we should have benched the Radiant Greninja with the Nest Ball earlier. Or we should have just searched for the Greninja with our Ultra Ball and benched it. Because now, we actually top deck an energy on the next turn. Which is a little bit depressing because if we discarded that energy, we could have played Sada um, for potentially the evolution and also another energy for us to play Fire Off and also Great Bash in a single turn. Obviously, we're doing it on our second turn. I don't think it's possible to do it on your first turn unless if you play Magma Basin. Um, and energy switch. You need two energy switch with Magma Basin. And, you know, it's not easy. You might as well do it on your second turn after evolving the Armor Rouge. So the reason we're playing Armor Rouge instead of energy switch, if you guys aren't already wondering, is because we have Cleaver V-Star. So Cleaver V-Star does more damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile for the V-Star power, the V-Star power attack. And we want to be discarding as many Pokemon as we can. And that's why we have excess Armor Rouge, excess Charcadet in the list. Helping us collect more in the discard pile for us to do a massive OHKO late game with our V-Star. So that's the whole point. We also can move Luminous Energy onto Cleaver. If they do a boss on something, we can move our Fire Energy into the active spot instead of getting stuck. Waiting for our Switch card. We do have three item switches for this list with Pokestop to help us dig for them. Um, but we may actually accidentally discard them with our Quaking Demolition. So we do have to be careful about that. Quaking Demolition discarding the top 5 cards could be quite dangerous. And that's why we have a lot more Pokemons and Energies in this list than usual. Just because if we discard Energies, we get to play Professor Sada. If we discard our item cards with Pokestop, we get to put them into our hand. If we discard our items with Great Task, though, with its ability, then it's into the bin. We don't get to retrieve it. We don't get to put it into our hand. So something to watch out for. If uh, We do have excess items, so I feel like we should be fine. Three switches is a lot more than usual. Um, we normally just play one switch or one escape rope in a list with one jet energy. I don't think we get to play jet for this list. 
Although, now that I think about it, Jet Energy could actually fit in really well with our Great Task just because it has 4 colorless attack costs. Uh, 3 colorless, my bad, with the 1 extra fighting. But the thing is, if we have our Jet Energy attached though, we can't move it onto the Armor Rouge, right? We can't move it onto our Stage 1 EX if we want to play Scorching Bazooka later. If they don't knock out your Great Task, like if they uh, do a boss on your Cleaver, or do a boss on your Squawk Ability, something like that, if they keep your Great Task alive, expecting you to deck out, you could actually evolve your Armor Rouge EX late game, and then do a surprise attack with Scorching Bazooka by moving energies from your Great Task onto your active Armor Rouge EX. So that's the power of our Rocket Launcher ability, our SV1 Armor Rouge. Transferring any amount of fire energy from your bench into your active, which is super cool. Can also transfer Luminous, as we said. Luminous for uh, Iron Hands, very obvious combo, but we have no Iron Hands for this list. Just because um, I don't think it fits in too well. I feel like playing the Armor Rouge would make a lot more sense. Because we have, we actually have two different energies though. We have fire... Um, sorry, Cleaver V Star and Armor Rouge EX. Uh, we have Fire and Fighting, so that means we can't fit in Lightning anymore. And we only have one Luminous, so if we have Iron Hands for this list, it would be pretty tight. So we're just sticking to Ancient for this list. Our Great Task with Cleaver from Hisui, which is also an Ancient Pokemon, sort of. <laughs> Hisuian. But anyways, now they have, they are apparently getting stuck. With a brick hand. They got the iron hands on the bench. Fully charged though. So we better be careful. But I feel like they should be investing some of those energies from the generator on the Miraidon. Because that helps them KO our Great Task EX. And also our V-Star since they have Ilaki VMAX on the bench with Zepdos for the damage boost. So we got our first knockout here. With Great Bash. Doing 260. 520 or more. 520, my bad. Because uh, we're hitting the weakness against Lightning. And here comes the discard. Quaking Demolition. Discarding so many cards. Look at that. Um, we're only playing 4 supporters, so it's actually a, a lot harder to discard the Sada right now. Um, since you're playing 2 Poke Gear and 2 Tracking Shoes. It's actually really difficult to build this list. When I first started building it, um, it's, we keep discarding the wrong stuff. So now that we have uh, enough Pokestop and Poke Gears, we're lowering the chances of us discarding the wrong cards a lot more. And that means we would end up discarding our Pokemons and energies instead of our supporter cards or the, you know, the items that we are in dire need of. But anyways, I think I'm just going to end the voice of right here because focus on the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. So we have for you our Great Task EX, Ancient, the new Ancient Pokemon coming to standard from Paldian Fates. And also Cleaver V Star wrecking the new standard format with our Rampaging Star in combo with Quaking Demolition. A new ability that discards the top 5 cards of your deck once at the end of your turn if Great Task EX is in the active spot, which is super cool. So that's all for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Have a great day and bye for Enjoy life!